discuss our topics. Our so let's, okay. Like, yes. Okay. I think maybe you can start now. Yes, sir. Uh, yesterday we in uh, the session uh, after the configuration of devices but without uh, uh, routing configuration uh, today i start uh, from the configure routing is in the devices so at first i power on the device So I have already shared the configuration document uh, by Shobhusa. We also shared the document to save group. I think you can download it and next time you can try. Um, this is the network topology. And this is the configuration document. We have done already the interface configuration. Today I have to start uh, from the routing configuration part. So to do that, at first I log in into router one. Configure terminal. Here I select uh, the RIP routing protocol. That is actually much easier to configuration router read and declare the version version two and to, this is actually dynamically uh, uh, routing configuration protocol. Uh, there are many others like OSPF uh, ISIS uh, that is actually used uh, for the dynamically uh, routing configuration protocol. In that case, I have to declare my own network. So in the router one, uh, it, it's connected with two others network. One is 192.168.20.0 and another one is 192.168.40.0. So for the dynamically configuration, uh, I have to announce uh, only for my own network uh, that actually directly connected with me, 192. On six eight twenty dot zero and another one is forty dot zero. Okay. Save this configuration. See the routing table. You have to run the command show IP route. So still now it's showing only directly connected interface because others router uh, still not announce their route. Secondly, I log into router two.
Doctor G. Data person person two. Ethereum network. In that case, it's connected with two network. One is one and two, one sixty forty. Another one is seventy. Wait it out. Now uh, I've seen uh, one I, uh, network is announced by router V. Uh, this is comes from router one, 192, 160, 20. So now I log into the router and configure the routing protocol also here is a name or two First, from this terminal, you have to put command CLI because Juniper router has three modes people mode, configure mode, and CLI mode. So I have to go in configure mode. Uh, interface configuration I have done yesterday. So today I configure a uh, routing part only. So to do that, put command edit protocol read. And create a group with some interface. M4, M3, and M2. Let's put set some policy. Again, we did protocol deep. and export the policy. Finally, comment distance. Um, back to CLI mode to show the changes. Uh, Rip. Show out protocol. Rip. So this is also found another uh, remote network 192.168.20 because other two network directly connected with this router.
kindly log into my protein. Then I'm on with me without any password. I have to go in the IT route. In that case, I declare a static route. Use this route up. Now I am able to ping uh, in, that, in the router one. So it's found two routing information for you. One is 60, another one is 70. So now I am able to ping all the IP addresses. 192, 168, 60. dot one i'm getting ping from 60.1 and 60.2 both 70.2 70.1 so same thing we have in router two dot one sixty two two seventy two two and seventy dot one so working time So now I'm gonna check from my host PC. So yesterday I get ping from router one, one I do one six eight twenty and one twenty five. So now I check with forty dot two. Not getting any response, forty dot three. And forty dot four. For that, I have to run a static route in my host machine for the Windows. That case, it will that you have to run command prompt as an administrator sorry check it being Open the door forty dot two forty dot three new for router IP and forty dot four. So from my host machine, I am getting best phones from the all the devices router two, Juniper router one, and Microtech router one. So now I'm going to start uh, the configuration management tools. In install configuration management tools, which is Rancid.
this transit pool meaning is really awesome new cisco config giver monitor router uh, this is especially uh, designed for cisco devices it's able to collect the configuration backup from cisco router switches and firewall also it's actually uh, working uh, based on uh, SSH protocol uh, using SSH protocol it's login to snfd router switch and collect the configuration and save in, in, inside the server and uh, there is an interface to uh, show the configuration and the dip, 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 difference version actually suppose i i change something any router any switches uh, that is also tracked down uh, by this uh, uh, configuration management tools so uh, we install this i need a server so i have already showed how to install a uh, different category linux server alma linux uh, red hat linux and centros also so I need a fresh uh, uh, Red Hat 8 equivalent server. So this one I use, uh, this is minimum installation. So I create a clone from this server. So the full version, full clone. Run it for the RAM seat. Server is ready.
So at first I have to configure IP address because uh, this IP is dynamically configured. So I need to configure static. To that. Change automatic to manual. So the IPv4. Give IP address 192.168. 30 and 135 plus 24 6 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 I need to disable IPv6 by this time because I not use at this moment. My home network is not connected with that. To deactivate an act. Keep this connection again, GMs IP. Okay, now I am able to log in this server on SSH. At first, I have to update all the software. The provisioning a new server. To that, you have to run this command.
this actually took five to ten minutes to update all this is also mandatory
then it's complete and then i have to set st linux in permissive mode other disable set temporary Retry the permissive mode. So I give it a boot, which is updated many things. To add an another repository. Mm, I have already updated, so don't need to run this again. Verify the development tools. Okay, so we need to install all of the uh, prerequisite software one by one. And it's required Python version 2 only uh, because it's not working with uh, the update version Python 3 and Python 3.67. I tried. So you must have to install Python version 2. Uh, 
um, we, we install the PSP 7.4. To do that, we have to install this repository. Zooming. And set default PSP module uh, 7.4. Okay. Must all the following PSP and PSP module. Some, some one question about why installing this package. This package actually prerequisite for Rancid. So to yeah, we have to compile the Rancid package from the source code. So to support the prerequisite library and binary, you have to uh, follow the installation one by one. So I, I it's possible to by single command, but I have to enable part uh, the PSP 7.4 version before installing PSP because in Red Hat uh, 8 version, the default PSP version is 7.0. So I need it uh, by this time 7.4. And I have to install server uh, MySQL Community Edition 18. This is the step, you have to follow it. And in this case, uh, I will get an error also. Loops. So, to recover that, you have to follow this instruction. So, without skip, without follow every step, you, you may not be able to install this package. But then see.
So I have to find out this line. We have to add this line. Huh? From the previous command again. And by this time, uh, this thing is without any error. That is to add a user and make a directory for source code. And finally, I am going to download the source code of RAMC. Okay, downloaded. So I have to decompress it. So this is the way to. This is actually source code for this program. Uh, it's written in uh, PAL C. Python. So at first I have to configure it with the installation location if it's USL local then it. After the configuration, the command make. I have to check it's finished without any error. And finally make. Install. Okay. So it's installed successfully. Now I have to configure some permission on a ship. Go to and set configuration file. Change this line like uncommon this. Put some category in that case. I put router switches and firewall. Three category. Set this file. Um, this command. Okay. 
um, this is actually front end for the RAM seat uh, back end. This provides a web interface to see the changes and the configuration stored in RAM seat. To that, at first I have to download the source code of UEC. So we compress down this installation skip. So we have to send something is Python to make a soft clean with Python to. And then the installation skip will work. So every step is very important. From here, you have to change. change this parameter exactly as like document access directory And finally, make it zero to one. One to copy all the CGI state from here to CGI in directory. Get permission and ownership. And finally, I'm going to enable and uh, start database server. And if you want to set uh, database root password, you have to run this command. I don't need it at this moment. So I just put MySQL command log into our database console. At first, I have to create a user with password this username BUVC and um, password RAMSIT admin. Access this user as a admin privilege.
create a database with this command. So MySQL host name, local host, MySQL port default, MySQL user, create a user view VC. Password. Name BBC. Okay. So database created. Here if I will show come on. Database created. So oh, I have to create okay. yet another user or read only user. Allow permission PVC database. It is fine. It sends the following line at first in a wall. So, I'll comment this line in a wall. One host equal to local host number three three zero six. I'm coming this line database name UBC username that is. Password. Password is set. And see that one. And the read only user. And they will the database. Done successfully and finally have to configure the Apache. Copy and paste. Line. Save it. Is that a So at first check to log in to type in server IP was. 135. So I can't able to uh, load default page. So I have to 
allow firewall It's auto correct sometimes. This character that's why it's a problem. So now I'm getting paste paste slash PVC. So this is actually font based uh, for the router configuration. If I go into router at this time, uh, there is no device, just a blank file. So now I have to add device. And um, before adding device, I have to configure SSAs in the router or switch. So at first, I check. The putty, the SSA is enabled or not. My device, get this 192, 168, 20.125. Yeah, it's working. Username Cisco, password. So now I am able to log in uh, the router with SSAs. So before going to configure in RAN site, uh, RAN seed to collect uh, the configuration backup, you have to ensure first your device support SSAs login uh, from any SSAs client like QT or other SSAs client software. Um, I also uh, give a document how to configure it. Uh, now uh, the router one is SSH configured, but router two is still not. Oops. I'm getting ping from router two, but if I want to connect, I'm going to. 168 40.2 connection refuse because no SSH service running by default in this router. So, open console. Configure terminal. Configure this router, set the host name in that case router 2. So router R2. An IP domain name. You have to mark set this IP domain name, any domain uh, that is not important, but you have to set it any uh, domain name to generate SSH key actually and create a user, username admin, password admin with a capital one, two, three. And set the privilege for this user 15. Uh, this is actually full privilege. Uh, set a enable password that is also admin 123. And we enable SSH, you have to generate a SSH key in the router and put the number of bit. In that case, I put 
ओके बाकी जेनरेटेड और आफ्टर जेनरेटेड टैग की शो इट ए मैसेज एसएसए इज इनेबल एसएसए इज 1.99 हैज बीन इनेबल एंड फाइनली हैव टू इंश्योर एसएसए वर्जन 2 So now I am trying from um, remote device. This is a this router one nine two one six eight forty dot two. And this time I got we accept and put username admin password admin. Okay. Then something Abdraman, if you have question, you can uh, write in your inbox, question answer inbox. Yeah, I have to put this command service password encryption. Again,
মেহেদি ভাই আমি মাঝখানে একটা ছোট অ্যানাউন্সমেন্ট দিতে চাই আমার কথা কি শোনা যাচ্ছে হ্যাঁ যাচ্ছে যাচ্ছে শোনা যাচ্ছে फिलबिट कर পরীক্ষার পরে আপনাদের সেই গুগল ফর্মটি দেয়া হবে এবং আপনাদের মেইলেও এটি পৌঁছে যাবে অনুগ্রহ পূর্বক আপনারা সবাই ওয়েবিনারে জয়েন করার জন্য এই গুগল ফর্মটি ফিলআপ করবেন ধন্যবাদ নো নাও ইট ইজ সাকসেসফুলি ওয়ার্কিং ফ্রম এনি এসএসএস ক্লায়েন্ট আই অ্যাম এবল টু এসএসএস দিস পোস্ট um now i am going to add this device in vansit no more need to log in in the terminal then this file this is bank file at first i put here router 1 and configure i run the password for login so this is for router 1 the username is cisco password also cisco and uh, enable password also cisco so now i run as a dance it user so before to that i want to show you the router tv is currently playing after that what happened took some time for the first time
Okay. Uh, this time is done successfully. Sure. Yeah. Oh, sick. I add uh, the router in the switches. So switches. Is actually no issue, but I add the router in the wrong category. But it working successfully. This is the IP address. Uh, click on this. Uh, this is the full configuration of that router. It is actually collected from these devices. So if I change anything, like this is router one. James host name Cisco R one and change the description of the interface interface is very detailed zero by zero description to internet okay so now i run this command again check the difference It's one point version one point four. I click this. Oops. Previously, uh, there is an option to check difference. First one. This is version three. And on that time, the first step was R one. Um, interface gigabit zero by zero was has not any description actually. Of the version four. So any changes uh, in the router? This is the description to internet. Uh, host name. This is R one. So if I want to uh, other device, at first ensure SSH. This device, especially ping, which is fifteen network. I'm not sure I'm getting ping or not from that device. Okay, I'm getting ping. So now I try it. This is a pin. Yes. What should I do? Pin one two three. Able to log in. So I change something. Let's see. So I have to add this whole line for
So here I have to put type here case one nine two. So not record all four lines. I have to copy this two line. Change star into IPR case one nine two one six eight. OT dot two username admin and check. The command for checking okay, it's working fine. So I have added another devices in the file, but by this time not in the wrong category is added in routers. I also uh, able to both uh, both in here. Okay, dot two have to run again to run again. Okay, done. Now I'm going to log the category. Right up TV, check what they said it. And for the configuration. <laughs> this is for router two. And same policy for the Swiss firewall as well as. So this is now all is done. Uh, if you have any question, feel free to ask me. So if I uh, delete, accidentally delete any configuration uh, from the router, so from here I am able to find out uh, the configuration. So I just copy it from here and put the configuration in the real devices router.
No question. One question, what is a private IP address? Uh, this is actually totally out of the box question. Uh, you people now learning about uh, network management, network monitoring, very advanced topics, and uh, you are asking me about uh, private IP. That is actually uh, IP address used for the uh, logical addresses, but uh, for the address range constant, some of IP, some of uh, some of the IP address we are using as a private IP are most of them actually use as a public IP address. Public IP actually use in the internet uh, to connecting uh, all the host in the internet. Suppose uh, if I am going to ping a website like Google. So I need to reach Google first to browse uh, google.com website. Um, this is the IP address of the Google website. That is actually the public IP address. And suppose uh, in my laptop, also uh, in our uh, lab, we are using a IP address. Then this is actually a private IP address because it's not required to reach them from the internet. Um, I don't have uh, many public IP address because it's costly and uh, for the version, IPv4 version almost uh, close to finished uh, assigned to the host. So private IP space is start with uh, 10, 16, 1, 72, 1, 16, sorry, 10, it's totally public IP, a private IP, and 192, 168. And other IP, actually the public IP address. Any other question? Oh, I have only 15 minutes. I have a plan to show you a packet analyzing software. NetFlow. So I'm not gonna answering the question, what is IP address? Because it's a session about network monitoring management and you have to minimum knowledge about IP address. I'm not gonna answering the question. Uh, Shinmoy sir, can you allow me uh, another 10 minutes? Okay, okay. You will proceed because our plan to complete all our uh, uh, scheduled topics. Okay, thank you, sir. So I want to show you another thing. I discussed about that. Net flow analyzer. Next 
So to install it, it's take what uh, version seven, Red Hat equivalent version seven. So I have it already installed yesterday. Um, dynamic IP, configure the static IP. So same as before, I have to disable or permissive mode in Linux temporary also. For the confirmation, this command showing uh, the present state of AC Linux, it's showing its permissive state. And I have to install the following required software to compile NetFlow. Set time zone. Okay, and keep you on seeing our lead. Let the user network with. Member of group Apache and get the directory. Okay. 
It's required actually two software. One is the NF dump, uh, that is actually responsible for connecting, collecting data from device. And another one is NFSEN. This is actually front end, provide web interface and analyzing data. complete download for both so at first i compile nf dump then nf send no we we can't able to read we just able to read the header information the source address destination address protocol source port destination port but we we may not able to uh, read data actually pass in the network they just device from the device they just uh, send a uh, header information packet header information so oh, this install successfully and i've done now oh, i'm going to install in absent I have to change configuration like this. Uh, base TIR. Data NFSM. So I'm not going to change it. HTML TIR. To change here. Part WW HTML in absent. I put on the HTML. Part WW HTML in absent. The prefix.
Mr. Local Team changes OKTNF term pin. user FFC. Save it. Yeah, the source for router one with port number 9996. From the installer. Okay. Get a start to stop script. Let's copy it. Paste here. Execute permission. And finally, start. Absent. For the restart, we have to use this command. Configure FRC. Mehdi, just one push in. Hello. Yes, sir. Uh, just uh, one participant asked question that uh, can you say 996 which port number 996 port number for uh, router send data to the port is uh, okay. required by the router okay and are another another participant so uh, for i mean if i add more router so i have to uh, add another port for that router uh, sir we have already 5 30 pm so we need to conclude okay. this session uh, it's 5 30 now and I, I took permission for another 10 minutes for, from Sinmoy sir. Faisal already, Sinmoy sir given, Sinmoy sir given already time. Okay, another 10 minutes, now 5.30. So I yes. have another 10 minutes to finish it. 5.30, no problem. Okay, another question. Okay, okay. Another question, is it possible by using any data analyzer? I think Mahmoudul Hassan has uh, uh, asked the question. This is this is not for data analyzer. This is analyzer for the protocol what's happening inside the network. So uh, user connection uh, connected with which site and what is the most user site uh, for that. But that not use any uh, users data actually. That, that is only for the connection information, protocol information. I show you. Okay. okay only only two minutes two.
Oh, sorry, it's ESP. Okay, it's successfully configured. That's why I show this funding, but without any data. Uh, for the data, I have to send it from the router. So to configure router, I'm going to router one. Okay. zero IP from yes flow so the initial thing with server what is on six eight Thirty to one forty. export destination IP address of server and the port number if export source here we turn it zero by zero Sport are shown right. Tip Change one thing because we add another port, network port on the setting 
Let's work adapter. Post only adapter. Configuration is done, but I have to add another interface as same as uh, the router interface actually. Space. Okay. Seven. I just get another network interface. Post only or mess with router interface. We got one thirty. Get away. Okay. And two on that. So within few minutes, we'll show data in here. So our configuration part actually done. I have to wait a few minutes uh, to see data actually. Oh, session is finished actually I uh, need uh, some time to see data the configuration part is successfully done okay no problem so because... you, you, may, you may start uh, the assessment after uh, finish assessment you just see the, uh, the graph actually uh, actually one announcement uh, our colleague um... Or Pita Haladar already announced it. Uh, uh, our physical local hands-on workshop, basically four workshop will be held in different 